Real Madrid, of course, usually wear all white. Here they're in all blue. And in just a moment, there will be a one-minute silence as a tribute to those who died at Sheffield at Hillsborough last Saturday. So the play will go on until the first stoppage, which may seem rather strange, but that is what happens. Feats. Here is Gallego, just chipping the ball forward with the outside of his foot. Sanchez taking it on the chest, and the ball through here is for Paco Lorenti, who's starting the game in the number six shirt with Gordillo, who usually wears six, going to number three. And a yellow card for Hugo Sanchez, who you could say reacted dramatically. He went down as though poleaxed. So the first caution of the game goes to the little Mexican. Milan come roaming and looking for the game's first goal. Ten minutes gone, no goals, and the corner taken by Donadoni Short gets it back. And uh, he'll have a throw this time. It was Schuster who got in the way of his attempted cross. Colombo again asking Donadoni to try and do something, and that's a better attempt. Not a bad cross either for Van Basten, and just past the upright. Villa had it covered, Gallego was there too. And the first strike on goal is from the Dutchman, Marco Van Basten. A free kick for backing in against Frank Rijkaard. Quickly taken to Martin Vasquez, who's done well. Good pattern he created there in uh, weaving that ball over to the right. Couldn't quite find Hugo Sanchez with his cross, though. Hi. So it's cleared by Maldini, but not very well. Michel now, the chance for Butragueño on the outside. And it'll be another corner. And the vulture, as he's known, Emilio Butragueño there. Winning the corner, which Michel will take. And it's an enterprising opening by Real Madrid. Oh, the ball fell kindly for Sanchez, he just couldn't force it in. He has another corner, though. Real Madrid know that they have to score here tonight because a goalless draw would be of no value to them. Yeah, they would go through on the away goals if that was the situation. Madrid at times can just get a little lackadaisical in defence as they did there and Van Basten might set something up for Milan. Well, he could have done but Sanchez read it. Real Madrid's strength no question is in their attack rather than in their defence. This looks better. Butragueño, oh it's, it must be an offside flag. Sotti with the throw. And Hullick came and made some space for him. Just couldn't get it through to Colombo, though. Milan have caught from one very good move, haven't settled quite as yet, as we know they can play, but Hullick now spreads it. Ancelotti, and Ancelotti, oh, he's weaving some pretty patterns here, and Ancelotti strikes! and goal Carlo Ancelotti gives AC Milan the lead and every Italian throat is roaring but where was Puglio? He was a long way off his line it is all joy around Milan now and Ancelotti with a splendid strike from his right foot gives Milan just the start they wanted No wonder the firecrackers are being let off. Schuster makes his complaints to the referee, but Real Madrid are crestfallen. Ancelotti made the space for himself, struck it superbly, but Buyo will be disappointed. 
The goalkeeper shouldn't be beaten from that range. He's kept it away from Paco Lorenti. Well, Real Madrid's tactics have to be obvious. They uh, have simply got to get the goal. So they have to throw things into an attack. It's Donadoni. That's played forward by Costa Curta. Some excellent football here. Another corner kick. And that's it. And they're really stringing their game together now. That was Ancelotti making further inroads into Real Madrid territory. And the strain looks to be telling on the faces of players like Gallego. It shows much emotion, mind you. The corner is uh, swung in. Behind again, no, Hullick manages to keep it in play, or does he not? No, he doesn't. And all the same, it will be a second corner kick for the home side. Donadoni is the man. And fired in there. Safely away. Well, uh, struggling just a little bit to put their game together in these last two or three minutes. Some excellent play from AC Milan on the other hand, and Donadoni again brings Colombo into it, and it'll be yet another corner. So times of stress for the Spaniards. Italians are giving their side. Another chance to swing the cross in, and it's a header from Rakai! Madrid's defence now has been breached twice and they must be fearful of more to come the way Milan are taking this game by the throat Ancelotti in 18 minutes Reichardt in 24 minutes and Milan must feel as though they've almost got one foot in that European Cup final I'm sure Real Madrid Gordillo Again, there are too many men around him. A nice play out of defence. Ancelotti, scorer of the first goal. Well, they melted away from Baresi there, and he's played a splendid pass out to that touchline to Van Basten. No way through that time. For the Dutch master. Michel. Good ball from here, Butraganio might just get in there, and the goalkeeper goes across, and Butraganio stumbled. Gali says nothing doing, pal, if he was thinking of a penalty. And the referee certainly hasn't given one. Butraganio well, was a little bit theatrical. Referee point was not amused. Frustration there. So 
a 50-year-old Alexis Ponet, who has refereed in World Cup finals, just has a calming word with Martin Vasquez. This was the previous incident in which Butragueño took a dive. Just a reminder, during the half-time interval here in Milan, we'll be bringing you the highlights of other games, including that match between CFKA Sofia and Barcelona. So there's a great deal of interest in Spain in the way the games are going today. Martin Vasquez delightfully rolling the ball inside for Gallego. Chendo. Giving it back to Gallego. Martin Vasquez, there's not been much for the Madrid supporters who've come here to cheer. But Schuster makes a good turn, he pivoted well then. And tried to drill that ball out to the right touch line, but... Paolo Maldini was there. Now Donadoni. Colombo to chase, I think it's just going to be too long for him as Buyo comes out to assist. 3 1 it is on aggregate indeed. Ancelotti and Rijkaard very much the heroes of the night so far. Sanchez. That's a good pass. And Gordillo taking up an intelligent uh, position. The cross is too long, but coming in is Michel. And that's the first time, really, that they've bisected the Milan defence. Good ball played over by Gordillo. As Rijkaard comes forward again, and Hullet. Hullet still inside that penalty area. Goes down, and uh, one or two hearts were beating rather fast then, and the Madrid support. And referee Pony decided that there was certainly no free kick to be had for Hullick, who says, you took a dive. Hullick can't quite believe it. The tackle was certainly a strong one. So we've had appeals for penalties at both ends. Let's have a closer look here. Uh, he was, there was nothing wrong with the tackle. in by Gallego, acrobatically. Schuster now. And Real Madrid really have to lift themselves to get back into this tie. They trail 3-1 on aggregate. And we are into stoppage time in the first half. With Real Madrid in possession. And they were until Michel put it straight to, to his opponent Ancelotti. Now Donadoni. Donadoni getting it back from Hullet. Milani runs. He teased him. And Hullet, who'd just been denied once with a header, was not to be denied this time. And can Real Madrid possibly come back from this? Rude Hullet gets the third Milan goal. A delightful header from close range. Buyo could do nothing about it. What a stunning first-half performance it has been by the Italians. And Real Madrid are in some disarray now. Three goals down on the night, 4-1 down on aggregate. And it will take a miracle for them to get back from this. They might have done it against other clubs, but surely not against the club of the stature of AC Milan. And that indeed signals the end.
Van Basten, what a good game he's having, and Van Basten is going past Chendo almost as though he didn't exist, he's still here, still trying to work a position for himself. And in the end, much cleared, but uh, not without some anxiety. Gordillo. Loses out and Rijkaard was there once more, has to pick up the pieces, find Colombo. Sotti kept calm, Rijkaard wriggles away from the challenge from Paco Lorente, here's the cross, and Donadoni is just too high for him. Real Madrid just can't get their game together, as Donadoni slips it to Ancelotti, Bouillet this time is alert. Well won by Paco Lorente, Martin Vasquez. Oh, that's a really poor ball from him. He looked up, thought about it, and still delivered the pass straight to the foot of Rijkaard. Donadoni, so influential in the midfield. Costa Curtis ball forward, again finds Rijkaard. And they're playing with some fluency now, Hullet inside the area, Van Basten! take his place. Yeah, I think this, uh, the stretcher is only uh, a precautionary measure. <laughs> Pull it probably fancies a lie down. He scored a goal and a vital one it was too coming just on the stroke of half time. So the ice pack administered to the knee, which is where he seems to have taken the knock. But it allows Viedis to figure in European competition again, wearing the number 16 shirt. Galatasaray will be a very different proposition, or will have been a different proposition. can scarcely believe that this is happening before their very eyes. All the talk here of the last two weeks has been as how close it was going to be, how Real Madrid would not just accept that one-goal scoreline from home, would be looking for a win. It's turned out to be exactly the opposite. And it's a night of torment in Milan for Madrid. Paco Lorenti. Not even 
a scrap of comfort. season as the coach to Real Madrid there's talk of moving him upstairs as they say but I'm sure he wanted to go out on a happier note than this it's one thing to be beaten in a semi-final it's another to be destroyed and here is Parisi even he can afford the luxury of coming forward now the ball is played wide Ancelotti The race he goes as far forward as that, you know that the game is won and lost. The race he again was in so sharply then, he's not given Hugo Sanchez an inch. Martin Vasquez, oh, he's done really well, and Martin Vasquez tripped right on the edge of the penalty area. And he was bursting into the gap. Now let's see where the offence took place. Martin Vasquez is there, and he stumbled at that point. A free kick given right on the edge, two or three yards outside the penalty area. It's a pretty long dive from there. But referee Pone wants the Milan wall back another uh, ten yards. Sanchez smacks in his shot straight into the wall they're all on side here so there must be a chance of a consolation it's nodded away though firmly too by Maldini Gallego and Maldini once more Again, it was a question of Real Madrid really shooting themselves in the foot, giving the ball away, and lucky to get away with it. Paco Lorenti once more, and he's inside the penalty area, and a little nudge. And he felt he might have had something there. The referee didn't concur. Maldini, intelligent ball forward for Ancelotti they're making sure they're not offside Rijkaard takes it now Donadoni league title they're well clear of Barcelona at the moment that takes on even more importance in the light of tonight's result shown us his full repertoire what about that for a pass to Beardis Gallego is there just to get in ahead of Ancelotti but they're not out of the wood yet and right oh, strikes it way over the top of the crossbar right God unable to just keep that ball down he was who got the second of the goals this evening and a crucial one it was too in the final analysis because the one that really knocked the stuffing out of uh, Madrid in the first half and then that third one by Hullet on half time finished them off here's Butragueño once more carrying the fight to uh, Milan around him and the blanket defence paid off and now Ancelotti has got Donadoni on his outside Still has the ball. Baresi. Oh, a lovely ball. Just a nice surprise. They're almost playing chess now. 
they're just sizing up the moves and delivering them at, at their own pace. Once more, a disappointing finish for Real. Michel strolls back, almost agonised, to his right flank position. And this will be seen as a night of disaster for Spanish football, but for Leo Bainhacker, there is to be no such appearance this season. And he must feel quite dejected by the events of the evening. It This has just not been a performance of any character at all by Real Madrid. They succumbed very early in the match, and uh, one would suggest that they haven't really ever had the stomach for the fight, having been held in their own stadium two weeks ago. Now the quick break is on for Ancelotti. Nice ball as well, played out wide for Donadoni. But on the other hand, they give it away. And once more, desperate defending. And we do apologise uh, for the occasional break-up of your picture and sound. I hope the interference hasn't affected your enjoyment of the evening. And that ball running through for Michel, who's got Sanchez running ahead of him now has to keep coming left, he's got Paco Laurenti outside him and uh, Francisco Paco Laurenti is caught offside and so it looks as though there's going to be nothing on this night for Real Shortly, of course, a roundup of all the European action this evening, plus the highlights for you from the game in Italy between Sampdoria and Mechelen of Belgium. So, uh, don't you think of going to bed just yet? There's a lot of excellent football to come. As the ball is turned here for Viedis, he's got Gallego in front of him. But, uh, Viedis, we could afford of a square pass. I think Reichardt might have been a scorer. And just look at that record of Viedis. 17 goals in 25 appearances in European competition. Corner it is. Donadoni takes yet another one. Baresi. And Tassotti. Just had a little bit of keep ball with Costa Curta. And we're now into time added on, and surely referee Pone will put Real Madrid out of their misery before long. And it certainly has been a night of misery for the men from Madrid. But what a roar will go up on the final whistle. Milanese players. It's been a marvellous performance from them. They really took a stranglehold on the game as early as the 24th minute when they were 2-0 up and 3-1 on aggregate. They've since increased it to 6-1 on aggregate. And there indeed is the final whistle here in the Giuseppe Miazza Stadium. A truly magnificent performance by the home side. They've utterly destroyed Real Madrid. Five goals on the night from Ancelotti, Rijkaard, from Hullet, Van Basten and Donadoni.